right, get back in the pickup. <laughs> right there he worked that one over pretty hard you just have to say it it's weird okay we'll just say it go okay well we made it here <laughs> okay this is take four go we made it here i made it here i made it here now we're heading up to the top so we can shoot us a bull super foggy. I got elk running down towards me. I've been sitting here for just over two hours. And it's around 33 degrees. I'm freezing. We're gonna go up this other side. Good stuff. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Go for it. Oh no, this is just a good drama shot. Look at that. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Every hunting video's got it. Adjusting the knee brace. <laughs> Found a new wallow. <laughs> Alright, I would let it cool down so you don't burn your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Just got our bird all cooked up. Jared would only use half a cube of butter. <laughs> Still gonna be hot. Mm. Is it good? It's hot. It's rubber. It's not done yet. <laughs> it's kind of tough. But it's I was gonna say it looked like a big bird. <laughs> no, it's done. All right. Dig in, Derek. It's good. It's I want to see tough. your. As long as you get just the chicken and not my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> nice legs. <laughs> Tastes like mountain chicken. Yeah. Which tastes like butter. Crap or good? Butter and pepper. <laughs> Don't really have any flavor. <laughs> but it's meat. All right, we'll take it. Either. I'm eating up.
when you talk about elk hunting being frustrating, that is an elk track on top of our pickup tracks from this morning when we came and turned around right here. Son of the day. We'll work that tree over. Twenty seventh of September. It's been a slow morning. Had nothing. Two bugles clear down there in bottom. And that's it. We're gonna be eating chicken tonight. There he is. We appreciate him. He's gonna taste good. Just quiet. Hard to see, but we're getting in the hot springs. <laughs> I was like, freaking sit like this. He's standing on the other side of that big sagebrush. No, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was like, what, 100 yards behind us? 150? Maybe even 200. Yeah. Coming up this hill. I ran down in these trees and started cow calling Derek set up I right there. Twice, I didn't know he could hear you. He yeah. came out right there. <laughs> he came out right there running down here. I was sitting at that pine tree and he was almost, he was at 40 yards before I even saw him. Because I was like, it's so windy it's hard to hear. I was like looking around making sure he didn't come out down here and I looked and I thought, and my release wasn't even <laughs> attached to my bow anymore. I'm like, Try and do that, and the dumb thing goes like that, and I'm like, ah, oh, it won't connect. <laughs> he stopped, and I was able to connect it, and then I, I took aim, so I just moved slowly. He wasn't looking at me, and uh, all I could see was the top of the sagebrush. So I had to raise myself up just enough to get over the sagebrush, and then he was looking at me. Sun's going down, like right now. Just wanted to say thank you to my wife and kids. Jessica's hunting some of this hunt with me, but thank you for letting me spend time in the mountains. Thank you for my brother-in-laws and my wife for hunting with me. It's been a bittersweet year. As always with archery hunting, that's had its highs and lows. But uh, as Will Primos used to say, I'll be back. We'll see you in 2022.